microbiology high yield topics today let us we discuss about gram positive organisms gram positive organisms are purple color under the microscope whereas gram negative are pink color here gram positive organisms are can be present in different types they may be bacilli cocci or branching filaments in branching filaments we have aerobic organism and anaerobic organism aerobic is nocardia it is weakly acid positive here we will get the history of the symptoms of pulmonary infection here the drug of choice is cotrimoxazole in anaerobic we get actinomyces here it is non acid fast here there will be a history of uh, discharging sinuses the sinus the discharging sinuses if we see under microscope we will get the sulfur granules sulfur granules contains the organisms next we will see about cocci in cocci they are catalase positive cocci and catalase negative cocci in catalase positive cocci we have staph staphylococci here we will see the organisms in the cluster form in staphylococci there are coagulase positive staphylococci and coagulase negative staphylococci coagulase uh, positive staphylococci is staphylococci aureus it is gram positive beta hemolytic catalase positive coagulase positive cocci which is present in clusters virulence factor is protein a here next uh, we will see about uh, coagulase negative staphylococci in coagulase negative staphylococci we have two organisms they can be differentiated by novobiosin sensitivity novobiosin sensitivity is positive for staph epidermatidis and novobiosin sensitivity is negative for staph saprophyticus next we see about catalase negative cocci catalase negative cocci are streptococci in streptococci the cocci are present in the form of chains here we differentiate the organisms within the streptococci by hemolysis based on hemolysis alpha hemolysis beta hemolysis and gamma hemolysis in alpha hemolysis we get green colored colonies here it is partial hemolysis in alpha hemolysis we have uh, viridens streptococci and streptococci pneumoniae they can be differentiated from each other by bile solubility optogen sensitivity uh, streptococci pneumoniae are optogen sensitive and bile soluble they are encapsulated organisms they have a capsule next um, optogen and uh, bile optogen sensitivity and bile solubility are negative in viridens streptococci they are non capsulated here we'll we get streptococci mutants and streptococci mutants streptococci mutants are associated with the dental caries next we see about beta hemolytic colonies in beta hemolytic colonies we will get complete hemolysis clear hemolysis we will be getting here there, uh, there are two groups of organisms group a beta hemolytic streptococci and group b hemo, uh, beta hemolytic streptococci they can be differentiated from each other by bacitracin sensitivity and pyr status it is positive in streptococci pyogens and negative in streptococci agalactasia next gamma hemolysis it means no hemolysis they grow in bile and uh, there are two organisms here enterococcus and non enterococcus they can be differentiated from each other by growth in 6.5% nacl and pyr status it is positive in enterococci enterococci fecium and enterococci fecalis and negative in non enterococcus that is streptococcus bovis now let us see about the bacilli bacilli means rods there are aerobic and non aerobic in aerobic we get listeria bacillus and corini bacterium in anaerobic we we get clostridium cutibacterium and propionobacterium 
in aerobic bacilli listeria it have tumbling motility here there will be a history of ingestion of unpasteurized milk it uh, its motility is dependent on the temperature it is motile at 25 degrees celsius here bacillus anthrax has a polypeptide capsule all the other organisms will uh, do not have polypeptide capsule it is it is the specific feature for bacillus anthrax it shows medusa head appearance it produces cutaneous anthrax it is a ulcer with black eschar next in corini bacterium diphtheria uh, it produces potent exotoxin which inhibits protein synthesis via adp ribosylation and ef2 adp ribosylation of a uh, uh, ef2 it causes pseudomembranous pharyngitis and bull's neck appearance lab diagnosis is it shows a metachromatic granules and a positive elx test for toxin next we'll go for anaerobic organisms clostridium there are clostridium tetani clostridium botulinum clostridium perfringens and clostridium difficile clostridium difficile causes pseudomembranous colitis clostridium perfringens perforates the leg and it produces alpha toxin lecithinase which is responsible for causing myonecrosis in clostridium botulinum here the toxin inhibits acetylcholine release at the neuromuscular junction causing botulism there will be a history of ingestion of the honey uh, it results in the floppy baby syndrome in clostridium tetani we'll get the symptoms of spastic paralysis trismus rhesus sardonicus and ophisthotonus now let us see about systemic mycosis all of the following can cause pneumonia and can disseminate all are caused by dimorphic fungi they may be present as mold or yeast mold forms are present at 20 degrees celsius and yeast forms are present at 37 degrees celsius only exception is coccidoids which is a spherule in tissue here we treat with fluconazole or itraconazole for local infection and amphotericin b for systemic infection um, histoplasmosis first we see about histoplasmosis it is also known as mississippi fever and ohio river valleys there is no person to person transmission here pathological features shows macro macrophage filled with histoplasma smaller than rbc and the clinical features here are palatal or tongue ulcers splenomegaly pancytopenia erythema nodosum these resembles tuberculate macroconidia most of the clinical features of histoplasmosis resemble tb it is associated with the bird or bad droppings spelunking diagnosis via urine or serum antigen next blastomycosis it is also known as chicago or northern or gilchrist disease pathological features here are broad based budding of blastomyces same size as rbc clinical features are of inflammatory lung disease disseminates to bone or skin varicose lesions are seen may mimic squamous cell carcinoma they most commonly occurs in boys and bone prostate it involves prostate next coccidiomycosis it shows barrel shaped orthospheres orthospores pathological features include spherule which is much larger than rbc filled with endospores of coccidioids clinical features it's present as disseminates to bone or skin erythema nodosum desert bumps or multiforme arthalgias desert rheumatism can cause meningitis it is associated with dust exposure in endemic areas example archaeological excavations earthquakes next we see about paracoccidiomycosis it is also known as south american disease pathological features shows budding yeast of paracoccidiomycosis with captain's wheel formation much larger than rbc most of the clinical features are similar to blastomycosis and males are more commonly affected than females pencillium or taromyces 
telleromyces shows broom brush appearance now let us see about gram negative cocci gram negative organisms cocci bacilli and the coco bacilli here gram negative cocci appear pink colored on microorganisms first let us see about diplococci diplococci are aerobic there are three diplococci neisseria gonorrhea neisseria meningitis and moraxella they can be differentiated from maltose fermentation maltose fermentation is positive for neisseria meningitis and negative for uh, rest tube next uh, we see about curved rods curved rods are oxidase positive the organisms which grow at 42 degrees celsius is campylobacter jejuni grows in the alkaline medium is vibrio cholera which produces urease is helicobacter pyroli now gram negative cocobacilli the examples are hemophilus influenza bordetella pertussis pasturella brucella francisella tularensis and acinetobacter next bacilli there are lactose fermenters and non lactose fermenters first we see about lactose fermenters in lactose fermenters there are fast and slow lactose fermenters slow lactose fermenters are citrobacter and serratia in fast lactose fermenters are e coli klebsiella and enterobacter lactose fermentation is negative for pseudomonas burkholderia salmonella shigella ersinia and proteus they can be differentiated from each other by oxidase positive and oxidase negative oxidase positive are pseudomonas and burkholderia rest are oxidase negative among them shigella and ersinia are negative for h2s production on tsi agar and salmonella and proteus are positive for h2s production on tsi agar now let us see about the hepatitis antigens and antibodies in acute hepatitis b virus we will get hbs ag positive hbe positive and igm anti hpc positive in window period we will get anti hbe positive and igm anti hbc positive in all chronic cases and recovered cases we will get igg anti hbc positive in chronic hbv which is highly infective we will get hbs ag positive hbe ag positive and igg anti hbc positive in chronic hbv with low infectivity we have hbs ag positive and anti hbe positive there is no hbe antigen and anti ige hbc positive in recovery period we have anti hbs positive anti hbe positive and igg anti hbc positive whereas in immunized we have only anti hbs positive no anti hbc now let us see about the cerebro spinal fluid findings in meningitis in bacterial meningitis there will be increased opening pressure increase in the polymorphonucleotides increased protein and decreased glucose in fungal and tb meningitis there will be increased in the opening pressure increased lymphocytes increased protein and decreased glucose in viral meningitis pressure will be normal or increased increased lymphocytes protein and glucose may be normal mostly virus do not show any changes except increase in the lymphocytes now let us see about the organisms causing diarrhea some organisms may cause bloody diarrhea and some may cause watery diarrhea in organisms causing bloody diarrhea we have campylobacter there will be a history of coma or s shaped organism growth at 42 degrees celsius in entero uh, entamoeba histolytica we have a history of liver abscess amoebic dysentery protozoa in enterohemorrhagic e coli o 157 h to h7 can cause hemolytic uremic syndrome and makes shiga toxin entero invasive e coli invades colonic mucosa salmonella non typhoidal lactose negative 
flagellar motility has animal reservoir especially poultry and eggs shigella lactose negative very low uh, infective dose that is 50 produces shiga toxin human reservoir only bacillary dysentery arsenia entrocolitica it resembles appendix causing pseudo appendicitis daycare outbreaks in watery diarrhea we have clostridium difficile it produces pseudomembranous colitis associated with antibiotics and PPIs, occasionally bloody diarrhea. Clostridium perfunus also cause gas gangrene. Enterotoxigenic E. coli, travelers diarrhea, produces heat labile and heat stable toxins. Protozoa causing watery diarrhea, giardia and cryptosporidium. Vibrio cholera, we have rice watery diarrhea, comma shaped organisms often from infected seafood. Viruses. Norovirus. Most common cause in developed countries. Rotavirus. Decreased incidence in developed countries due to vaccination. Enteric adenovirus. These are the clinching features of their respective bacteria. With these features, we can identify the bacteria.